Hi, this is Sally and today is day 31 of my weight loss journey. Okay, so a few things to report, three things to report. So um, I started today late again. I'm going to talk about that later. So the first thing is about overnight yogurt. So um, this time round, I actually had my yogurt before my coffee enema. Generally, I try to have my coffee enema as soon as I wake up so that um, whatever that is detox during sleep is um, discharged quickly once I get up. But um, I'm actually sharing the bathroom with my brother. So I woke up slightly late today and he had to use the bathroom you know, before work. Coffee and Nima usually takes about an hour or so for me. So I decided to have my breakfast first. Um, last night, I actually took out my yogurt. Um, initially, I intended it for dinner last night, but I wasn't very hungry. So I decided to leave it out um, so that it would not be cold for breakfast uh, this morning. So um, generally what happens is that you know that yogurt that is actually it starts off with a life culture and um, the good bacteria just uh, rapidly multiplies so when we actually freeze it it slows down the uh, multiplication of the um, good bacteria so when I actually left it out in the uh, overnight I wasn't a, you know, there's no fear about it going bad because it's just a couple of hours so that was that um, and even if it's kind of like um, it, it warmed down to room temperature. It's great because actually it's the optimal time, um, optimal temperature for the bacteria to start multiplying again. When I actually um, switch on my yogurt maker, uh, it is actually quite warm. It's almost, I think it's almost 50 degrees. So that's the optimal I uh, can't recall, is this 52 or 38 degrees? But I can't quite recall. It's the optimal temperature anyway for it, for the bacteria to multiply. So it is um, slightly higher than room temperature. And putting it in the fridge actually slows down everything. So anyway, I'm fine. I thought, hey, great, you know, so it's warm, it's overnight. There'll be more good bacteria multiply. It'll be good for my gut. Okay, so I had it. And then after that, I went for my coffee enema. And um, okay, so generally during my enema, um, I usually start with a water enema first to actually empty my rectum area. And this is because um, I don't go to the toilet naturally. Um, what I mean by this is that I don't have a regular time to go to the toilet. I know some of my friends, you know, in the morning when they wake up, they go to the toilet and they immediately do their business. I mean, it's habit for their body. I think for my case, I'm still working on my habits and I don't have the habit yet of going to the toilet naturally. I find it easier actually to go to the toilet after I do my exercise, um, as particularly after rebounding because the up-down motion um, of, of your body actually loosens everything, you know, and um, based on gravity, it just moves down, right? But um, I don't, I haven't started exercising yet. So I'm just concentrating on food. And so what happened was, uh, what happened usually is that I do a water enema. Um, so that's pretty quick. And then that gets everything out. So the surprising thing was that there was a lot uh, that came out during the water enema. And it's surprising because I haven't been eating much the last few days. And I have been doing uh, water and coffee enema every, almost every other day for the last few days. So this could not have been really like accumulated. Second, I felt that I felt the um, effect of actually um, taking in the overnight yogurt. Um, yeah, I mean, I could feel it. Like there was a lot of reaction kind of. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was just like, wow, it's like there's a lot of action. I felt it was pretty effective. You know, I should like put my yogurt out overnight and eat it in the morning I think it, it really helps to cleanse my body I'd rather out than in so um so that was interesting I might continue to do that you know maybe I'll, I'll just have my yogurt first before my animal um moving forward okay so the second thing that I wanted to share was about um bloating so um I had soup for lunch I didn't have any rice so just carrots and soup so I was a little hungry 
um, little hungry, not very hungry. So that's a good thing. I think my intestines have shrunk. So when I had dinner, it was with a friend and it was like my reward. Usually at the end of the week, I have my reward once I hit all my goals and my juices and stuff like that. So I had, um, I had thick noodle wonton soup, fish soup with uh, mala, which is a kind of uh, spicy chili. And also, um, yeah, you see the twinkle in my eye. I just, I'm happy thinking about it. I had smoked duck with rum and raisin. So this is a cafe, uh, my friend's cafe. So I was very happy. So, um, but after I ate, I felt very full. You know, um, I must say that I can really eat. My family can really eat because we believe in making our money's worth and we are trained on buffets. So, um, so, but then this time round, you know, I just had a few pieces of duck and then just one bowl. Um, and I was quite full. So what do I do or what can you do when you feel bloated, right? So the moment I came back, I actually took my enzymes. Um, so enzymes are, are normally we need enzymes for just different functions of the body but one of the major part of enzymes is that it can actually break down any cancerous cells normally in cancer cells there's a thick um, protein coat around the cells and uh, enzymes actually help to break that down and in so doing kill the cancer cells now I must say I don't have cancer but cancer doesn't happen overnight so I believe if a person is not eating organic and eating fried stuff and you know stuff like that there are a number of cancer cells around the body but very minimal it's just not substantial enough to be first stage second stage um yeah so anyway i took the enzymes uh, for general health enzymes also help in the running of the it aids in the different chemical reactions that goes within the body so um and actually for this time round, i actually took the enzymes um, primarily because I felt bloated. I felt that that is a low reason but that's the most um, that is the reason that uh, that you can you have a feeling about you see so uh, I technically is good to take enzymes every day but especially if you're not eating live food like salads and fruits yeah um, um, the reason why I don't take every day is because of budget. If I could, I would. So right now I'm taking it uh, sparingly. Um, so I, I took it just now because I felt bloated. And also when I got back, I took my liverine as well as my chromium and my vitamin B complex. Some of the supplements, are it's advisable to take it um, during the meal or just after the meal. Um, that's because your body is digesting everything and it's just efficient for the body that, to digest it at the same time. Um, yeah, chromium is great also uh, for toning of the muscles. Yeah, so if you want to lose weight but you don't want to, you don't want to look flabby, generally our chromium should be taken by fruits, you know, it's usually fine fruits and vegetables. The problem is that the soil on earth is very depleted. You don't get organic, it's very depleted. You can get some chromium, but it's not enough. So I feel that actually supplementation is really essential in terms of our modern lifestyle. The other thing is that I took liverine and um, I am actually focusing on my liver health, not only because of the coffee enema. Coffee enema is for the detox part of it. Liverine is for the nutrition part of it. Uh, I actually asked my mentor whether it was necessary to take liver in because I'm actually eating much healthier now. You know, I'm having my yogurt, organic yogurt. I'm having more, um, I'm having, I cut out my whites, I cut out my meat, you know, a, a lot. Um, and I, I said, you know, I'm also doing coffee enema every day. So do I need liverine? And um, she mentioned, uh, she mentioned that we are living in an intoxicated world. And I'm like, so what's intoxicated? I already cut out, cut out a lot of the um, unhealthy food that I usually eat. And she mentioned things like, um, you know, just city life and you, you, you smelling the um, exhaust from, uh, from the cars and the vehicles, which is true, you know, er we, we are a very city um, state. So once we start out the house, we are near a road. When we are at a bus stop, we are sitting down and the exhaust fumes are practically in our face. I mean, I didn't really notice it until um, she pointed it out. And then after that, every other time, I'm noticing what I am inhaling. 
Yeah, so I think um, liverine is pretty important, especially when we talk about immunity. And I think to in this day of like coronavirus, the best way, one of the best way to maintain immunity is to focus on colon and liver health. Yeah, so this is my um, sharing for today. I hope you find it useful and I'll see you in the next video.